Hi, welcome to Fun and Learn Smart. I'm Danishka, and today we're going to read Annie and Snowball and the Tea Cup Club. Let's get started reading. Teacups. Annie lived with her father and her bunny, Snowball, in a pretty house with a nice front porch. Annie liked pretty things. Her room was full of them. She had a frilly bed and a frilly lamp. She had lacy curtains and lacy pillows. She had little glass dogs and little silver spoons, and she had teacups. Annie loved teacups. She loved their pretty shapes and painted flowers and dainty little saucers. Annie always wanted a new teacup for her birthday, and her father always gave her one. Annie wished she knew someone who loved teacups as much as she did. Her cousin Henry next door didn't like teacups. Henry wasn't interested in dainty things. Henry's dog, Mudge, weighed almost 200 pounds, so nothing could be dainty in Henry's room. Annie needed some teacup friends. Annie needed some friends who could be dainty. Henry's idea. I need some teacup friends, Annie told Henry as they sat on front of the porch swing. Mudge and Snowball were sharing a carrot. I want to dress up and have tea parties, Annie said. Yuck, said Henry. Annie smiled. She knew Henry would like a mud puddle party better. Maybe you can start a club, said Henry. Really? said Annie. Sure, said Henry. Annie and Henry worked on the sign all afternoon. The sign was very pretty. It had a painted teacup, and it read, A teacup club for girls. Call Annie soon. Annie and Henry took the sign to the girls' dress shop. Mudge and Snowball came along, too. Snowball loved going for rides. After Annie and Henry put the sign up, Annie saw a little girl and her mother stopped to read it. said Annie. A teacup girl. Henry just smiled. You want to go play frisbee now? He asked. Okay, said Annie said. Annie was dainty, but she was fun too. Dainty friends. Seven little girls called Annie and they all loved teacups too. Annie was very excited. Oh, seven friends. Isn't that fun? She asked her father to help make club plans. Annie and her father invited all of the teacup girls to tea on Saturday afternoon. Annie's father brought some nice cinnamon spice tea. He helped Annie make some sugar cookies. Henry and Mudge stopped by to make sure they tasted okay. And Annie brought out her very best teacups for the club. Later, the seven girls all arrived looking like angels. They wore flowers and bowls and lace and shiny bright shoes. Henry saw them from his front porch. They all look like Annie, he told Mudge. Mudge waved. Mudge loved Andy. The teacup club had a wonderful time. Some of the mothers stayed to help. 
Annie was proud that her dad was such a good mother too. The tea was spicy and the cookies were sugary and the talk was all very dainty. The teacup club promised to meet once a month at Annie's house. Everyone was excited. After the girls went home, Annie went to Henry's house to tell him all about it. Snowball sat on Mudge's head. Clubs are fun, said Annie. I know, said Henry, especially the ones with sugar cookies. Mudge gave Annie a big kiss. And maybe some drool, said Henry. Annie laughed and hugged Mudge. She liked Dante friends, but she would always love her drooly friends more. The end. That was really fun. Hope you come next time.